We are with Giancarlo Bedoni, moments after winning an ADCC gold medal. Giancarlo, how do you feel? I feel awesome. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to put a, 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 a word on how you feel after winning uh, winning this title. Obviously, um, you know, last time was a crazy feeling. This time was an incredible uh, feeling. You know, the emotions are kind of all over the place, so it's kind of hard to put your finger on an exact emotion. But I think overall, it's uh, it's all positive. So, the mission accomplished. We'll say that. Mission accomplished. You are now the first and only person to have won back-to-back -back titles in this weight class. Uh, what does that mean to you, and what do you think that means for your legacy? So I actually didn't know that I was the first back-to-back -back champion. I knew that I was one only only one other guy, Salo, had won two at 88. Um, and so my I made a goal for myself to be able to surpass that uh, after the first ADCC title. Um, but I'm glad to know that we, uh, we set a record here today, so that's cool. Very cool, man. Very cool. Uh, tell me about the finals match with Jay. Uh, what surprised you about the match? Did it go how you expected? Just tell me about, you know, how did the match unfold from your point of view? Um, I wasn't particularly surprised by anything. Um, he, he, he had some near pass attempts on me. Um, none of them were really, I think maybe one in the early non-points period was close-ish, but none of them were, you know, in positions where, you know, there was like a scoring countdown happening where it was like one, two, three, you know, maybe it was a score, maybe it wasn't. He got past my legs a couple times. I've competed against him. This is the third time. Um, I think at least on a, one of those matches, I had a similar situation uh, happen. He's very good at either knee slicing hard past your guard to north south or body lock passing. Um, so, and, and, and just a high, high, high pace, you know, that's what he's known for. Um, is incredible cardio, high pace, um, his wrestling to a degree, um, and uh, and yeah. But I think I was able to, you know, in all of those aspects, um, you know, not just overcome, but I think perform better. Um, the takedowns that he did score on me, I didn't really bother fighting them. Um, I took him down once with an Uchimata. Um, I was able to get to his back and put him down from rear body lock a couple of times. I think he had one. Uh, takedown on me it was during the no points period and I, the, the, the reason why the takedown actually ended up happening was because I just decided not to scrimmage because we were so early in a potential 40 minute match and there was no points allowed um, that and there was no points valid at that at that at that time that uh, I just figured it was it would have been just an inefficient use of my energy at that time and I think that um, you know my experience my understanding of the rule set my overall just skill development and uh and uh, you know, development over the last few years made it so that over the course of the whole 20 minutes, I was the more efficient grappler. And if you look at the match, I could have gone 40 minutes easily. He was very, very tired um, to the point that he was, you know, giving up and doing things that he never does. Like he fell back on a leg lock. I was able to put him in bottom position and pass him multiple times, take his back. Um, and so the only thing that I'm annoyed at is that in my eyes, this was a worse performance than my first ADCC title because my first ADCC title, I submitted three out of my four opponents. And this time I submitted one out of four opponents. And uh, that was annoying because in all three of the matches that I didn't submit, I was so close to submitting the guy and time runs out. Um, so that's, that's to me, is kind of uh, the, the negative kind of taste in my mouth um, from this victory. but. You know, at the end of the day, the record's there. So, you know, we, we got it done. We got it done. The first title, you came in a little bit of an unknown, a trials winner who was able to punch his way through. This time, defending champion circumstances are very different. Do you feel like coming here and defending your title helped legitimize uh, that first title that was so surprising to so many? Yeah, I think so. I think it's good to uh, to have a repeat, make sure that, that nobody you know thinks that you know maybe it was a fluke or whatever the case is. But I mean, I was able to to to, to get some um, some good wins even after that title and before that title. So I don't think that it, um, you know it was a doubt in anybody's mind that I was a world class grappler. But now I think you know uh, my goal you know is going to be to uh, to dominate this weight class, and uh, you know I think we're in the uh, in the right direction to do that. No one's ever won it three times. Is that your goal to come back in two years? Yeah. First? Yeah, that was my goal after the first one. Um, now nobody's ever done it two times in a row, so we got that one done. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Um, and so now, yeah, we're going to go for go for three in a row. There you go. Uh, match with Jay, 
Tell me about the scoring sequence that ultimately was the decider for this from your point of view. And then, uh, man, he's so squirmy, you ended up losing the back team. Tell me about that. Yeah, so obviously, you know, I like Jay a lot as a, uh, even as a person off the mat, I've always gotten along with him. Um, and uh, I think he's a good, uh, good grappler and, uh, you know, a good, like, U.S. representative um, in grappling. So, um I'm a fan of his. I'm a fan of him, and I know that he's a tough, uh, you know, a tough competitor. So I knew that it wouldn't be an easy match. And just based on his run, um, I knew that he was kind of in my position two years ago. You know, he was the guy that, you know, I, I don't think that a lot of people were counting on him making the finals. I knew that he, people knew who he was. Obviously, he's part of a big team, um, and you know, he's 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 been to ADCC before. He's a trials winner. He's has had hype around him and stuff like that. But um, I, I kind of see him kind of in my position two years ago where um, he wasn't the favorite to win, you know, even from the beginning. And to have a run like he did, I didn't get to watch all of his matches, but I saw like, for example, in his semifinal match, he pretty much controlled the whole pace against, um, against his teammate, um, which is always hard fighting a teammate, somebody that knows your style. Um, and then you know his other previous matches. I think he got one or two submissions as well. So um, you know he had a, he had a good run the whole weekend, and I knew that he'd probably be riding that momentum and uh, and giving everything that he could, uh, which he did in in our in our match. Um, so you know nothing about uh, him really surprised me. What was your question? It was about the scoring sequence. Yeah, about yeah. how you scored and then him escaping. Yeah, so I was able to get to his back a couple of times. Um, He's very squirmy, very slippery, you know, hard to submit. I mean, when the, in my matches against him, you know, the last time I competed against him, I think was who's number one. I had him in multiple deep submissions. He's got long, flexible arms. He was able to pull my hands down from like almost fully locked rear naked chokes and, uh, and get out. So he's notoriously a difficult guy to submit, especially from uh, the back and arm bars, uh, which are two positions I was close to getting to. I ended up taking his back, scoring hooks. Um, I was up 3-0. And I can't remember how much time was left. I want to say six-ish minutes, maybe seven, six and a half, seven minutes when I got to his back. Um, and I was up 3-0, and I'm neck pummeling. I'm trying to, to score. He's got, you know, good defensive hand fighting. Obviously, he comes from a camp that, uh, you know, has a, a background with, um, you know, with my, uh, with, with my coach, with John. So they know kind of all of our, um, or for the most part, they're familiar with some of our hand fighting sequences and stuff from the back. So something that he was prepared for. Um, and I knew that just based on our previous matches. So I knew I had to play a tight game, you know, lock a tight body triangle, not give him a lot of uh, uh, ability to disconnect his chest from my back, or sorry, his back from my chest, because um, he particularly likes turning escapes, keeps the elbows high, makes it difficult for you to, to, to punch and strangles and things like that. Um, there was a moment where he pulled uh, my body triangle leg across, and so we were technically in a non-scoring position where I didn't have uh, scoring hooks or body triangle. So after three seconds, I was able to relock a body triangle on the top side, thinking that I was going to get a secondary score. And then I he I look over at Gordon, and and he had told me, you know, if he disconnects the legs, wait and then reinsert the hook. And everybody everybody knows that tactic from ADCC. It's as old as the entire tournament. Um, so that happened, and I relock my body triangle. I look over at the scoreboard after a few seconds, and there's always a bit of a delay on the scoreboard, so you never really know when points are going to be awarded. And I heard Gordon, I looked at Gordon, he said, they didn't give you the score. And rather than wait a little bit, my idiot ass fucking let go of the body triangle, tried to hold, I tried to hold it for three seconds and then reinsert it so I can actually get the score so I had a little bit more time to play. And he squirmed his way out, was able to slip, I was I slipped off the top. And then as soon as I'm back in guard, I look over the scoreboard and they gave me the score. And I was like, fuck, all right, I could have just stayed there a little bit longer. Um, and I think, you know, I would have been able to get to a finish if I could have stayed on his back because I had, you know, at least five minutes to work from there. But um, ultimately, I was able to, you know, score on him a bunch after that. And, uh, you know, we got a dominant win from there on. Are you going to throw your hat in for the absolute? I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the dressing room and uh, talk to the team. Get some water, get some rest, maybe take a quick shower, and then uh, we'll see what John what John thinks. We got we got a a bunch of guys. We got two heavy guys that met, that meddled. So uh, I I got to talk to the team. I can't make a decision right now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Giancarlo, congratulations again, man! Amazing performance. Uh, before we get out of here, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, just thanks to everybody for everybody uh, for the support from everybody, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.